hi dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you i really appreciate you much for your love and your support but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you will be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a tanzanian lady by the name of hawa 26 years old muslim who found love on online dating apps with a russian guy hawa searched for love for seven good years hawa tried it all guys when i sit here and tell you try everything you know to achieve your dream try everything to find that right guy while you are on online dating apps then with hawa or on hawa's case she tried everything I've been getting lots of messages from you guys here on YouTube, on Instagram. Some of you come and be like, Bella, hey, with what I have gone through on online dating apps, no. Dating apps are not for me. <laughs> I am done, done, done. Things are here. <laughs> it's so crazy, Bella. Imagine, Bella, I've been chatting with this guy. It has been two months. I thought he was the one. Suddenly, this guy has ghosted me. Suddenly, this guy has sent me his nude photos. Or he is asking me for the nude photos no 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 yes i've tried and tried but it doesn't work i've given up <laughs> so if you think you have seen it all i'm telling you after watching howard's love story you will be like i haven't seen anything and this will give you more energy to keep searching to look for that right man for you who is out there, you have a certain dream, you know, and when you talk to people, maybe close to you, they tell you that's a stupid dream. <laughs> it will never happen. After watching this video, hearing what Hawa went through, you will get more energy to keep fighting for your dreams. And I told you, if you have a dream, you work on it, you put some action into it, you will surely achieve it. Yes, guys. So Hawa went through a lot in those seven years. And before I tell you how Hawa found love on online dating apps with that Russian guy, I would like to take you through her journey from the start. <laughs> yeah, till that time when she found the right guy. This will help us at least relate with what we are going through. Because I told you guys, I can't just come here with a beautiful love story and hide these struggles. Because <laughs> those struggles are the things that keeps us moving yes most ladies that have found love on online dating apps and were watching my videos they come tell me bella the success stories that you always share are the ones that kept me moving forward <laughs> yeah you could just you know go to your channel click on one of the story and listen to it then tell myself if this lady found love why not me? So even Hawa tells you that if she found love on online dating apps after seven years of trying and trying, after all the challenges that she went through, why not to you? You who is watching this love story today, of course, you will find the one, one day when it is God's time. So without forgetting guys, Hawa is my own baby my client and you'll get to know that as i narrate to you this story i am very very happy at peace <laughs> and excited <laughs> to share this love story with you 
So without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story. But we are starting with the struggles first. So dear friends, how a story starts when she was little tells us was raised by a single mother. Never got a chance to know her father till now as I am talking to you or as I am making this video. She is 26 years old. So she tells us her mother and her aunties are the one that grew her up, took care of her, and as she kept on growing, always told herself that when I grow up, reach that age of getting married or of dating, I am not going to date a Tanzanian guy. Why is that? Due to her story, not knowing her father. Her father abandoned her when she was very, very little, never even cared, you know, to look for her. So that one really broke her heart and was like, no, me dating a Tanzanian guy, that is a very big, big no. But not only that, tells us her mother's elder sister, her aunt, got married and then divorced also has got an aunt who is a twin sister to her mother, also was in relationship with a guy and they had kids. Then the guy also abandoned the aunt, left her aunt to take care of her kids. So told us looking at all that situation in the family, people close to her, her own story was like, there is no way I am going to marry a Tanzanian guy. <laughs> So she kept on with her studies, went to high school, tells us high school studied at Zanaki. If you are from Tanzania, then you know Zanaki High School. It is in Dar es Salaam. So guys, when Hawa was at high school or when she reached high school, because <laughs> she had this dream of getting married to a white guy, was like, how will I find a white guy? here in Tanzania. There is no way. So what will help me, you know, get a white husband? I am going to make sure I go to Europe and after being in Europe, then find a white man as a husband for me. <laughs> yeah, so in high school, decided to study German because Germany was among of the countries she wanted to go to. So before I continue, I've been seeing lots of people criticizing others for wanting to be in a certain country. Maybe someone is in Kenya and has got a dream to go work in Canada, go stay in Australia, go stay in the UK, go stay in America. People have been criticizing this a lot like it is a crime. It's not a crime at all having that dream. I've seen Italians who wants to go and live in America and I've seen Americans who wants to come and live here in Italy. Some have even migrated here. <laughs> yeah, so it is totally okay. It is not a crime at all, at all. Never listen to anyone that is telling you, you want to use me to come to my country. No, as long as you are using the legal way, as long as you are doing it the right way, like I told you last time that when you are on online dating apps, searching for love, it should be love. So if you have your own dream, maybe to live in Italy, and then you go on online dating apps, it shouldn't be that you are going on online dating apps to find an Italian guy, use him, not that fall in love with him, no, use him to come to Italy. When you do that, that's very, very wrong. But when you go on online dating apps to search for love, and maybe you want to live in Italy or you want to live in Germany, then you come across a German guy on online dating apps. You have to tell him the truth that I'm searching for true love. Yes, but I also would like to relocate to Germany. Those are two different things. It's not a crime at all, at all. So with Hawa, yes, thought that her coming to Europe 
it will be easy for her to achieve her dream. So at high school, decided to study German language. And her mother and her aunties supported her, supported her dream, told her, yes, study German language and whatever is needed, we have got your back. <laughs> yeah, so her idea was study German language and after finishing German language, apply for our pair jobs in German. So when she comes to German, works and as our pair, as she is there, of course, is gonna meet her Mr. Wright. And yes, guys, studied her high school also, including German language, then did the exams, you know. After doing the exams, the results came out. Hawa had passed. She was very, very happy over the moon and immediately got an agent who told her is going to help her apply for an au pair job. That was 2017. So after giving that agent some money to help her apply for an au pair job, she waited and waited and waited. Nothing at all <laughs> came up. But Hawa did not give up. That agent ate her money. She knew it. <laughs> because she tried to call that agent to ask what happened, but that agent kept on giving stories. Yeah. But she was like, it's okay, no problem. There is still another chance. I will still apply for an au pair job. So guys, 2017 passed and then 2018 came. When 2018 came, Hawa tells us her mother has got a twin sister. So this twin sister had traveled abroad, you know, to find life. <laughs> and while abroad, the twin sister to her mom, you know, was really lonely. And due to loneliness abroad, so was on Google, you know, trying to find things out. That is when she discovered dating apps. <laughs> and after knowing dating apps, decided to contact Hawa and told Hawa, you always wanted to marry a white guy. I think this is the great chance. Give it a try. And tells us the first dating site that her aunt shared with her was Muslima. And after getting that Muslima, was really, really happy. Tells us that they didn't have any reference. Like, you guys have been watching success stories. They didn't know anything that maybe dating apps can work, but they were really positive to give it a try. So yes, Hawa joined Muslima and started her online dating journey in 2018. So... Her experience on Muslima tells us, oh my God, Bella. <laughs> Within one month, I was like, what? What is this? <laughs> this is really, really crazy. Yeah, because on Muslima, the first guy that she started chatting with was from Bosnia based in Germany. The guy was 39 and at that age, Hawa was 20 years old. Remember, she doesn't have any experience of how online dating world can be. So yes, this guy started communicating with Hawa. Everything was really good. Hawa tells us the guy was full of I love you all the time. And also one time introduced Hawa to his one year old daughter. And he was like, this is your mom. You see her? <laughs> I am going to marry her. Oh my God, how I was over the moon thinking that I have found the one. <laughs> so they kept on communicating. And then this guy started asking nude pictures from Hawa. Hawa said, no, I cannot send you my nude pictures. But Hawa kept on holding on to this guy because the guy was saying, I love you. And she didn't have any experience, so believed him. <laughs> and whenever she could call him on a video call, this guy could be in the bathroom <laughs> with his eggplant standing like this. <laughs> Yeah, 
and in the evening this guy could take some photos you know to send to Hawa he could lie on the bed and then cover himself with a bed sheet but his eggplant could be seen under the bed sheet standing like this <laughs> How could you say, why is this guy up to? But her eyes were still closed, guys. She kept on chatting with this guy. When, whenever he could come up, send me your nude photos, she could say no. Then one time asked Hawa, if I come to Tanzania and invite you in the hotel, will you come? Then Hawa was like, mm, I don't know if I will come. <laughs> Because I don't know you yet well. So they kept on communicating like that. And then one day, Hawa was with her mother and also tells us her mother knew her dating journey, was also helping her. Oh my God, such a sweet mother. So had told the mother about this guy in Germany. <laughs> and when they were together that evening, then a message from that Bosnia guy in German came in. <laughs> and when it came in, Hawa's mother told her, let us see, open the message. It was a video. So she opened that video. Oh my God. <laughs> it was a porn video of a guy using the back door of a lady. And a guy down the video wrote that, I like that style. Goodness, how I felt very, very ashamed, you know, cause her mother saw it and told us that was the end of her. And that guy in Germany decided to block him. So after blocking that guy in Germany, came another American guy. This guy was 45 years old. <laughs> yeah, everything started really, really good. This guy never asked for nude photos at first, but when they kept on chatting, this guy told her, yes, I am looking for a wife, but I've got my mother who is lesbian, so I will marry you, you will be sleeping with me, but at the same time, sleeping with my mother. Sent the photo of his mother, Ned, <laughs> to Hawa. Hawa was like, what? No, <laughs> I can't deal with this and blocked the guy. So after Hawa blocking that American guy, then came in a very good mixture. <laughs> A Turkish guy, half Turkish, half Algerian. <laughs> yeah, texted Hawa and this guy was in China, but was using an American number. So Hawa asked him, why are you using an American number and you are in China? This guy was like, my ex is American, but she never wanted me to come work in China. So we had to end the marriage and I came here in China. So he asked Hawa, do you work? Hawa was like, no, I don't work. I just finished high school. Then he was like, you need to apply for a university here in China and then you will stay with me. We are going to live together. I am going to take care of you. But her tells us she was not interested to go to China for her wanted to come to Europe, maybe America, Canada, you know, find that white husband. <laughs> yeah. So she said no to his proposal and they kept on chatting. Zizu brought another proposal, was like, so, cause I travel all around the world and how tells us, yes, this guy could travel a lot. <laughs> Today could be in China, the next day you hear he is in Thailand, the next day he's in Germany, then he has returned to America. And whenever he could shift, he could have a different phone number. <laughs> So told Hawa, I am going to help you find a college where you can study being an air hostess. And when you pass, I am going to help you find a job at Emirates. Because I've got lots of connections there. I've got lots of friends <laughs> who works there. So you need to start. And when you become an air hostess, then we'll be traveling together 
all around the world. But how it tells us she didn't know what Zizu used to do for a living. Yes, he could travel a lot, but his job, she didn't have an idea at all. So they kept on communicating as they were planning for her, you know, to apply for that college. <laughs> then Zizu started asking her if I'm to pay the bride price, who is going to receive, you know, your bride price. Then how was like my uncle. Then was like, will your relatives really accept me? I'm kind older than you. How was like, no, no problem. So everything continued until one day, how I wasn't online that day. And when she came back online, found loads of missed calls from Zizu. When she called Zizu, Zizu responded and was like, where are you? I've been calling you all the time. You are not online. I am in Tanzania. I came to surprise you. I was like, why didn't you tell me you were coming? It was a surprise, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then Howard told him, okay, so if you are in Tanzania, I need to confirm. So Zizu told her the hotel where he was, took the video of himself in that hotel, even outside. And yes, this guy was in Tanzania. So told Howard, I took a single room. I am going to shift to a double room and I want you to come here to meet me how i was like no i cannot come i don't trust you i think first come to my family and then <laughs> if i will come to your hotel where you are this was like no i cannot come i just did this surprise for you i've spent lots of money and you are here telling me to come to your parents house you know i'm just a guest here so you shouldn't treat me in that way <laughs> how it tells us no I couldn't go because I was really scared. What if this guy came to slaughter me? <laughs> she refused and then he said, after two days, I am going back to China. So think of it very well if you're coming or not. How I never went to the hotel. And yes, after two days, Zizu left Tanzania. He stayed quiet. He was really angry with her <laughs> for two weeks. And then he returned back, was like, how are, why did you do that to me? Then, you know, they talked, you know, and forgave each other, decided to start afresh communicating. So how it tells us she chatted with Zizu from 2018 to 2019. And as they kept on communicating, she had to ask Zizu if he would like to have kids in the future. That's when Zizu was like, yes, but that will be after 10 years. I want us to enjoy life together without kids around. <laughs> Then I was like, oh, I think we are not a match because for me, I would like to have kids as soon as we get married. Then Zizu was like, okay, my love, okay, baby, I'm going to think about it. Then brought the back door story. He was like, he would like to enjoy the back door. <laughs> with Hawa and Hawa was like no I cannot do that it's a sin in our religion you know I'm from Turkey Algeria I am a very strong Muslim I'm telling you taking the back door it's not a sin if you do it before marriage if you do it in marriage then that's a sin <laughs> and Hawa is a very very strong Muslim so she was like no 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 I'll never do that then Zizu was like okay for me I'm giving you one year to think about it if you accept then we'll keep on with this story Hawa was like no there is no need to give me time it's over between me and you. So Hawa had to end it with Zizu. So in 2019, Hawa talked to her German teacher and requested him to help her apply again for our pair in Germany. And that teacher accepted, helped her apply for an au pair. And they waited. They waited, waited, then the results came. When the results came, 
they responded to them you know in german and the teacher asked how are did you understand the letter she was like not that much then the teacher told her let me explain to you well so this family said that they don't need someone of your type it's not that they don't love you or they don't like you. No, that's not the case. They are saying that you cover yourself a lot because Hawa covers herself, you know, as how Muslim ladies, you know, dress up. So they told her that they don't need someone who covers herself. That is number one. Number two, Hawa prays a lot. You know, Muslims, you will understand me. Your prayers can go to five times a day. Yeah. So Hawa prays a lot. And the family was like, while you praying, a baby can be crying. It is going to disturb you. It's not even about us. It's about you. Also, we eat pork and you don't eat pork pork not only that you fast during ramadan and we don't fast they also say they've got a dog they drink alcohol you know you guys in germany you know german with their beer <laughs> yeah so it's not gonna work at all how are you know felt kind discouraged but the teacher told her no you shouldn't worry keep holding on to your dreams and how i was like okay no problem so again had another opportunity whereby there was a business conference in germany it was called anug or anag exhibition in germany so how are had to also apply for that business conference. All these things or all these application that Hawa was doing, it was for herself, you know, to improve herself, you know, being in a new country and try out some new opportunities. At the same time, find a husband, get married and start a family. Yeah. So she talked to another agent and gave the agent money to help her, you know, apply everything <laughs> in order. But unfortunately, guys, that agent ate her money again. Too sad. Because she also paid the ticket money to the agent. But the agent only applied for that visa. So when Awa went for an interview, they asked her for the ticket because you need to have a ticket to go to that business conference. Howa didn't have it. When called the agent, the agent started, you know, making corners. So in 2020, Howa got another opportunity. <laughs> there was another conference or another, I think, business week called Belgium Africa Business Week. And Howa had to apply. And when she applied, after three days of her applying, COVID started. Everywhere, all borders were closed. She kept on calling the embassy, but whenever she could call, they could tell her the borders are still closed. Until 2021, when she went to pick her passport from that embassy. So after losing all those opportunities to go to Europe, then found another agent that said that is going to help her find a job in Dubai, a secretary job. So there is a certain amount of money that Hawa was supposed to pay. Talk to her aunt. Her aunt paid that money to the agent. And guess what, guys? The agent failed her again. He ate the money and also made lots of corners. Whenever they could call, stories, stories, stories. So Hawa kept on being single and really feeling so, so lonely. Then one day was on Instagram, came across this advert of a dating app called dating.com. According to the advert, they were really, really talking so good about that dating.com. And Hawa liked it, went and talked to her mom and her aunt about it and told them that, that I am supposed to pay on that dating app. 
how much is it? <laughs> the mother asked. How said $35? They were like, okay, we are going to pay for you. So they paid for her that $35 when she joined. Oh my God, everyone was sending her messages and tells us, was able to send only 35 messages. <laughs> Every message costed $1 on dating.com. <laughs> And every guy that Hawa could chat to, tell that guy, this is my WhatsApp number, contact me on WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp number, if you're interested, contact me on WhatsApp. Could drop her WhatsApp numbers. <laughs> but tells us no guy from dating.com ever contacted her on whatsapp like i told you on dating.com guys it's not that i'm trying to destroy someone's business not at all this is the truth i've got lots of evidence i've got lots of ladies that have been on dating.com same same story those guys will want you to only pay because you pay as you chat so you will pay until you go broke <laughs> Imagine <laughs> only 35 messages. Oh my God. So how after that gave up on dating.com because she couldn't keep on paying on dating.com. So after dating.com again on Insta found another page called surreal dating. And these are the people I think who do connections. They had posted a photo of a Nigerian lady, you know, wearing a head wrap and how i said oh this is the right place for me because i cover myself so let me contact these people <laughs> how i contacted them i was like hello i am how from tanzania my age is this my dream is to get married to a white man <laughs> please help me and send her photos how i told us they never responded back to her <laughs> And after that really felt so, so bad, told herself, what is wrong with me? Am I that ugly? Or is it because I cover my head all the time? You know, in Swahili, they call it ushungi. So she was like, maybe it's because of my ushungi. But why is that that Nigerian lady had covered her head too and they posted her so she remained really really discouraged so in Hawa's real life it wasn't easy too because people close to her you know apart from her mom and her aunties used to ask her why are you not going to the university you know why are you still here <laughs> what is your plan so how could be like for me i want to go study abroad because i want to get married with a white guy but these people could discourage her some of them could laugh at her and tell her no <laughs> that's a stupid dream <laughs> you will never achieve it you the way you are the way you cover yourself <laughs> not even a chinese or a japanese guy <laughs> that will fall in love with you if you find a guy from pemba a pemba guy in swahili they say mpemba <laughs> like when we know our pemba too <laughs> you'll get married to a pemba guy pemba is a small island in zanzibar where lots of arabic tanzanian guys stay <laughs> And those guys there, they are called Wapemba. <laughs> so they told her <laughs> that her level maybe is that one. Imagine, guys. <laughs> so with her story, guys, never ever accept someone to discourage you. No matter the challenges, keep fighting for your dreams believe in your dreams <laughs> because if you don't believe in your dreams who else is going to believe in your dreams okay so believe in your dreams believe in yourself and work towards achieving those dreams another advice i can give to you is that when you see someone is discouraging you stay away from that person stay with people that encourages you that supports your dreams so yes guys after the story with dating.com not working then being ignored when she reached out to people who do connections you know on instagram 
was there and started talking to her aunt again was like aunt i'm so lonely i really want to settle down have a family of my own i really don't know what to do i am praying to god right now to bring to me even a very old white man but as long as he's going to love me once a family i am going to accept him <laughs> that's what she was telling her aunt her aunt kept on encouraging her don't worry keep on searching you will find someone and yes guys after some few days some white guy in america new jersey to be precise <laughs> liked her profile on instagram so after liking he also commented hi beautiful you are really beautiful oh my god just like an angel <laughs> so she liked his comment and then this guy followed her after he followed her she sent him a message was like hello thank you so much for the compliments i am hawa from tanzania after sending that message then that guy responded but tells us at first didn't know like the age of that guy he had a photo of a baby girl as his profile photo so this guy responded and was like hello i am sergio from new jersey so sergio went ahead and said that he is 62 years old asked Hawa and you Hawa was like I am 22 years old so at that time Hawa told herself you know in her head that oh my god thank you god for hearing my prayers because she was praying for an old man <laughs> god has replied to my prayers and I know right now you are laughing a lot <laughs> like 22 and 62 oh my god what a big age gap <laughs> so sergio told her that he is looking for a muslim wife he changed his religion and his name is ali <laughs> so asked how is my age okay with you and how i was like how could i say no I said, yes, age is just a number. <laughs> Guys, I told you, sometimes in life, oh my God, we make lots of mistakes. And when we look back then, we laugh just like now I am laughing. <laughs> so guys they kept on chatting you know getting to know each other and this guy also told her that he is from dominican republic so he has got his family there also said he is his mom's favorite <laughs> yeah his mom was really really old like i think 99 years old yeah so everything was going on really really good sergio or ali told Hawa that today I want to send you some money you buy a sandwich <laughs> for you Hawa was like okay so Sergio or Ali sent Hawa $50 to buy herself sandwich but Hawa tells us later she came to know that Sergio Ali sent her that money to keep her sweet calm and obedient do everything that he is going to ask her i told you guys yes you really enjoy to be spoiled with a guy on online dating apps but be very very careful some guys have got really really bad intentions and that is why they are sending you money to keep you sweet calm don't ask questions obey you know follow everything be a yes girl just like buying you <laughs> yeah so after how are receiving that 50 dollars then sergio or ali told her are you alone today at home <laughs> I was like, no, I'm with my young brother. And he was like, oh no, today I am very, very hungry. So I wanted to make a video call so that we can do online sex with you. So I'm really, really angry if you're not alone at home. Then how I told him, even if I was alone at home, I was not going to do that video call. <laughs> guys we have seen it all 
<laughs> Imagine. <laughs> For me, I'm trying to think, you know, seeing this 62 years old guy naked. Guys, it's really hard to think about it. And this lady was very, very young, 22 years old. Some guys can be really out of their minds. So when she said no, Sergio was like, okay, no problem, I won't ask again. Then after some few days, he said that the mom is sick in the Dominican Republic, he has to go. So told her when I arrive there, I am going to be communicating with you. But after that time, Ali or Sergio disappeared for a month and Hawa was there asking herself, where is this guy? What happened? Is he okay? <laughs> and then after a month, he returned again. So when he returned, was like, I'm so sorry, my love, baby. You know, happened fire accident at my parents' house in the Dominican Republic. But thank God we are okay now. So Hawa had to forgive him and tells us also because this guy was in America and America was among of her target. <laughs> she was like, let me keep on, you know, getting to know him, you know, trying to learn to love him and eventually go to America, get married to him. So yes, they kept on communicating. Then the Sergio started telling her, you know, you are there. I don't like it. You're not studying. You're not working. I want to help you apply for a university in Tanzania. How I was like, no, I don't want to study here. Okay, if you don't want to go to the university, then go study Spanish. So she went, did some research, but in Dar es Salaam, there was nowhere where they teach Spanish. They told her that there are some people teaching Spanish but in Arusha and Hawa was living in Dar es Salaam. Then he said, okay, if you can't study Spanish, then study English, you know, to improve your skills. Go to British Council and ask for all the details of how much is needed to pay and how long you're going to be studying. How I went to British Council, <laughs> you know, to find out, you know, how much it costs and got all the information. When she told him, he said, okay, I am going to send you the money. But this guy never sent any money. And remember, had told her that he changed his religion to Muslim. And then it came Ramadan, you know, when Muslims are fasting. And then he said he was fasting but one day they were talking that same same period of ramadan then this guy you know welcomed hawa welcome for food we are eating now <laughs> whoever he had said he is a muslim and he is on fasting <laughs> but she did not open her eyes yet kept on with the relationship and another thing with sergio or ali <laughs> He was very, very controlling. Like if someone comments on Instagram on Howard's post, he must ask her, who is that? I don't like it. You know, acting as if he's very, very jealousy of her. <laughs> and that one is to keep her, you know, you see, oh my God, my man is so jealousy of me. <laughs> yeah, so she kept on moving forward with Sergio. So everything kept on going good in Hawa's eyes, guys. <laughs> and then Sergio was like, would like to have one kid. And Hawa was like, it's okay, even if he's 62, Kwani kupata mtoto shingapi, you know? <laughs> How much is it? You know, there is this say in Swahili to have a kid. I will have a kid. <laughs> Yeah, so he was like, yes, we'll get married, have one kid, and our life is going to be really good, fantasizers. <laughs> so as Hawa was keeping on the relationship with Sejo, on the other side, never shared anything with Sejo of her plans, you know, to apply for universities in Europe and all of that. 
so talk to her uncle actually is a family friend lives in america so this uncle advised her to apply for universities in america so she applied two universities one is siba another one i've forgotten the name and they did an interview on her made a video call and she passed so her uncle told her go with all this information the documents to the u.s embassy and apply for a student visa and that's what hawa did applied for a student visa to america but unfortunately for the first time she got denied so after being denied she did not give up someone else advised her that she should apply for a visiting visa and then when she arrives in america she can convert that into a student visa so she applied again and when she applied again for visiting visa got denied again so yes guys how i kept on trying at the same time dating sergio but with sergio you know yes sometimes you might not have any experience with dating with online dating but your woman's intuition always talks to you so her woman's intuition which guides every woman of course if you listen to it you won't be in trouble yeah kept on talking to her that something is off with this sergio because whenever she could want to talk with his relatives this guy could disappear for another month <laughs> and then come back say oh there was network problem always excuses then he said he was going to go to tanzania first to meet Hawa. When she could ask Sejo Ali, when are we meeting? He could say soon, 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 soon. And I told you one time, soon might be never. Okay? <laughs> so you should keep that in mind when a guy is telling you soon, soon, soon when? We need a date, month, and a year of when what you're telling me is happening. Stop telling me soon. <laughs> So her tells us chatted with Sergio from 2020 to 2022 and it reached a point whereby nothing was moving forward. So talked to her aunt and was like, aunt, please help me out, you know, to search for me. And her aunt accepted, requested for her photos and opened a dating site for her. After her aunt opening a dating site for her, came across a guy from Canada who was disabled and he had six kids so told Hawa there is this Canadian guy he has got six kids he is disabled chat with him if he's serious go ahead <laughs> and Hawa was like okay no problem so started chatting with that guy and the guy yes told her I've got six kids I've got six kids all females i want you if we get married you keep giving birth until you get a male child how i was like with that no problem then one day this guy asked for hawa to send him pictures of her in a panty and brazier <laughs> hawa said no i can't do that <laughs> then one day Hawa wasn't online was offline when she came back online found lots of missed calls from this guy and when she called him he was like you know how uh, today came one of my customer here at my shop he had a shop and then i asked him if you're dating someone online and you're planning to marry her is it okay to exchange nude photos and my customer said yes of course why not <laughs> if you're planning to get married it's totally okay for a woman to send you nude pictures how i said no even if your customer said that i am not going to send you my nude pictures then after a short period of time that guy ghosted how so kept on searching and searching then her aunt got her another guy <laughs> from scandinavian countries how tells us she doesn't remember very well the country where that guy was from but told how you have to put on a dress that is very very transparent and dance for me i have to see your body if it attracts me <laughs> 
then I'm going to go ahead and date you. If it doesn't attract to me, then it's a no. How I told him, no, I can't do that and ended it. <laughs> And by the way, guys, this story of a Swedish guy wanting her to record herself, you know, with a transparent dress. I remember there is one client of mine, I won't mention her name until when we share her success story because she has found the one already. So one day she was, you know, introducing herself, telling me a bit of her story, what happened on her search online and then told me bella it reached a point i felt like a prostitute because i had dated this guy and this guy every weekend he could ask a video of my naked body like turning around showing what my mama gave me you know showing you know <laughs> my boobs and showing my goodies sometimes he could tell me play with your goodies i want to see record yourself and send me those videos so every weekend she could make sure she prepare herself go to a room lock it and record herself so that she can keep that man but guys that lady's story ended so badly because at the end of the day, this guy planned a wedding with this lady. She told everyone in her family about the wedding that is to happen. And last minute, the guy canceled the wedding. After everything that this lady did for that guy. It is such a sad story. Very, very sad. But I'm telling you guys, no matter how your past can be really dark, very bad traumatic it shouldn't stop you from moving forward because i trust in god you will see the light at the end of the tunnel one day then came another canadian guy they chatted and after chatting for a while he started asking for nude photos when he asked for nude photos how i said no i can't send you my nude photos the guy blocked <laughs> her says that these people who could ask for nude photos could block her before she blocks them <laughs> so after blocking her then passed some days then he unblocked her and found a message hey lady can we get to know each other the same same guy that had blocked her <laughs> i was like is he crazy oh my god her tells us he gave him words swahili she says nilim chamba hi fi <laughs> Yeah, but one thing with these players, time wasters, no matter how you are chamba, no matter what ugly, ugly words, you can tell them they enter here and go like this. <laughs> Don't even waste your time because it's not worth it. <laughs> so in October 2022, Howard's aunt was on YouTube, you know, watching videos, and then my videos popped up. When my videos popped up, she started watching one by one. After watching, I had to tell Howard, please, please, go to this lady's channel, watch her videos, and also follow her on Instagram to ask her for her advice. She's going to guide you very, very well. And that's what Hawa did. Came on my YouTube channel, started watching my videos, and she could take every information that I could share. But mind you guys, Hawa was still communicating with Sergio, though nothing was moving forward. The guy was just, you know, appearing and disappearing. So on 4th November, 2022, Hawa had an appointment again with the u.s embassy <laughs> had applied for another visa to go to america so went to the embassy and they denied her again so three times denial american embassy two times german embassy au pair remember the other application to belgium that COVID came in between. And also she tried, you know, to go to Dubai, but they ate her money. All those trials, nothing ever worked out. So seven times trial and all was in vain. Tells us was super, super stressed 
frustrated because before you used to not you know put so much energy into dating apps because she knew after all i will go to europe i will go to america and i'll find a white guy there but after everything failed was like now i am entering into dating apps with my two legs it is my last hope so remember her aunt had shared with her my youtube channel in october so november after everything failing and decided to put all her energy on the dating apps tells us because was watching my videos decided to join f dating and when she joined f dating that same same day got a message from a swedish guy and this guy was like i cannot imagine you undressing me <laughs> how i gave him a block after blocking him she found another guy this guy was from switzerland and Hawa nicknamed this guy Mzewa JJ because this guy was very slim and could wear wide trousers. <laughs> so this Mzewa JJ from Switzerland told Hawa, let's communicate using email. And Hawa accepted, <laughs> started chatting with this guy on email and this guy could ask photos. Not nude photos, normal photos, but Hawa could send and a guy could ask again. It was never enough. <laughs> he was 53 years old. So Hawa came to me, talked to me about Mzewa JJ and I told her, you know what? No, 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 no chat with a guy on whatsapp ask him for his whatsapp number so when hawa asked for whatsapp number mzewa jj ghosted hawa <laughs> yeah so hawa kept on watching my videos tells us i downloaded badu of checks if you guys watched Chick Slayer's love story. <laughs> they met on Badu, watched Joyce. So says I downloaded Kisses of Africa of Joyce. It's a Zanian lady who fell in love with a Russian guy. <laughs> downloaded Meet Me of Zenzo. She knows all names of the ladies that fell in love in those dating apps. So she told us joined every dating app that I could share. <laughs> <laughs> made sure joins it so other dating apps or dating sites that Hawa joined was truly african truly russian matrimony tinder aries oh my god lots lots of dating apps Hawa had them <laughs> was using them so guys because Hawa kept on coming to me on instagram to ask for an advice, also talked about Sejo, <laughs> Sejo's situation. And I gave her questions to ask Sejo from his response. Then we are going to conclude if he is real or he is not real. I always do this even if I have seen already that the guy is not the one. You know, to confirm on your side so that later you don't blame me and be like, mm, but i think bella made me lose the one no guys i always want to make everything clear to you so that you can open your eyes widely so i also told hawa for more personal advice guidance you need to pay the fee so when i told her about the fee was like how much i told her and yes guys because hawa really wanted guidance someone to guide her we can see all the mistakes she did because she didn't have experience she did not have anyone to guide her through so hawa paid and then I kept on guiding her. So whenever she could have anything to ask me, any guidance could stalk me on Instagram. Yes, I've chatted with Hawa. Oh my God. <laughs> lots, lots of messages. I've spent lots, lots of time on Hawa. And even one day was like, Bella, for the money that I paid, 
compared to the time that you dedicated to me, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, because we started chatting 2023. And as I'm telling you till now, I am still guiding her. Yes, she has found the one, but the guidance does not stop, guys, <laughs> until you settle down completely, you know, with your husband. <laughs> yeah, so we will get to know later what happened, what I have been advising her and all that. I would also want to tell you guys again, please, please, if you come on Instagram and you feel like you need guidance from me, I'm not going to do it for free because it takes time, guys. If you guys were very few, yes, I could have done it for free because before I used to do it for free. People were very, very few, but you guys are many and you need my guidance. So, I have to dedicate most of my time to you guys. That is why my time has to be effective. You have to pay a certain amount of fee. Please, please, before you come onto my Instagram to ask for an advice. But if you just want to come on Instagram, you know, to greet me, to say hello, we socialize. It's okay. I'm very, very friendly, guys. I won't tell you pay because you have to socialize with me. <laughs> Not at all. But if I have to spend some time on you, oh, yes. So, guys, Hawa paid me yes to guide her. I did not go to the dating apps. I don't know, search on her behalf, get a white man for her. No, she kept on searching with my guidance. Yes. So as she kept on searching, kept on watching my videos and also came across a video of a Tanzanian lady who found love with a Dutch guy on online dating apps. That Tanzanian lady goes by the name of Happy and in that video, Happy was advising you guys that are searching for love on online dating apps, including Hawa, <laughs> that watched that video to not wait to be found told us she could send 15 messages every day to guys until she came across that Dutch guy. So after Hawa watching that video was like, oh my God, for me all this while I was waiting to be found. I was waiting for guys to send me messages. And of course, I too advise you guys, don't wait to be found. Make that first approach. Then Hawa told herself that evening, Today night, it will be the night of sending messages. I am going to be sending messages to guys. So with Sergio's story, aka Ali, <laughs> it ended because when I started guiding her, I opened her eyes. She saw that, yes, Sergio was just playing games with her. And even recently, we were laughing at it. He sent me a photo of Sergio because I had never seen his photo <laughs> and was like, ah, Bella, mpaka tufike to mechoka. Look at this guy. <laughs> he wasted my two good years. <laughs> and I laughed a lot. I saw their photos when they could do video calls. Oh my God, online dating is something else. <laughs> so guys, that night when Hawa decided to send messages to guys, decided to swipe, you know, browsing through men's profiles on that dating site so that she can send them messages. Because I advised you, before you send a message to a guy, go through his profile. So that is what exactly Hawa did. <laughs> and she came across a profile of a Russian guy. The way that Russian guy looked, it was exactly what Hawa was searching for. She really, really liked him. <laughs> so after seeing his photo, went to read the profile, but there was a challenge because his profile was in Russian. <laughs> so she had to go to Google Translator and translate his bio. After reading his bio was like, no, this is the guy that I want. So she had to wake up her mother, was like, mom, wake up. I've seen this guy, oh my God, he's so cute. He's Russian and going through his bio, it is exactly what I am looking for. He seems really, really religious. The mom was like, ah, leave me alone, you're disturbing me. I want to sleep. <laughs> But 
she kept on talking to her mom and her mom had to wake up, looked at his photo, was like, hmm, yeah, he seems really religious. But another challenge, the guy wasn't paying on that dating site. So the mother told her, ignore him, he must be a scammer. Bella said, if a guy is not paying on a dating app, that means he is not serious. So ignore the guy. But how tells us, after her mom telling her, ignore the guy, he's not paying, you know, follow Bella's advice. She was like, yes, Bella's advice is really good, but my heart... <laughs> tells us it's like her heart had connected to that guy in a way that she cannot even explain how <laughs> liked him very very much so was like yes bella's advice is good but i like the guy so went ahead and liked his profile <laughs> After liking his profile, chatted with some few guys. Some of the guys that she came across that night or guys that responded to her, one was from one was from Canada, responded was like, you're very beautiful, but I'm very, very sorry. You are far away from me and long distance relationships are very, very expensive. I cannot handle that. Some of you might hate this guy. But if it was for me, I cannot hate that guy because what he said is the truth. Like I told you, interracial relationships are very, very expensive. Long distance relationships are expensive. Then we say thank you to the guy because he said the truth. No need to waste someone's time whereby you cannot handle. But as a woman, you come across that situation, don't take it the negative way. Don't start punishing yourself and be like, I wish I was in Canada. You know, I could have dated this guy. Simply accept it that he is not your match. Move forward. So came across another guy. He was Turkish, living in German and asked her, do you know German? She was like, I know a little bit, not much. Do you know Turkish? She was like, no, I don't know. So how do you expect us to communicate? <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't communicate. Bye. Then came another guy from the Netherlands. They exchanged WhatsApp numbers, going to WhatsApp. She texted him. He disappeared. So her mom told her, take a rest. Sleep, my daughter. <laughs> That's when she had to sleep. It was in the morning already. <laughs> yeah. So guys, in the morning, the Russian guy liked to back our profile. But not only that, guys started sending his phone number. And guys, with all my experience, I didn't know this trick. Because I told you guys to ignore men who are not paying. It's not that I'm eating my words. No. Ignore guys that are not paying on a dating app be very very careful but if you ignore my advice and decide to give that guy a chance then again follow the rules that guy within two or three months of a communication you should decide when are you going to meet and he should know that if you are the one to go visit him he should take care of all the expenses okay he should know that so if you're going to be like okay i'm giving them the chance and use this trick here then still don't close your eyes stay with your eyes wide open so what this russian guy did started with three digits so that how i can copy it then he sent again another three numbers and this time Hawa, I don't know, she made a mistake in copying the number. So it failed. Hawa started sending her number also, sending three digits, <laughs> but again this guy didn't take it. So from there, talked to her mom and her mom was like, why don't you listen? The guy is a scammer, ignore him. <laughs> How I was like, but he is still sending his WhatsApp number. The mom said, ignore him. How I said, but I like him already. <laughs> 
so guys we are going to stop here part two is coming very very soon to know what happened with the russian guy is he the same same russian guy that eventually it became a success story or oh, there is another russian guy that made this love story a successful one we will find out all that oh my god part two is full of afro cinemas <laughs> lots of things to learn from part two let me hope you enjoyed this love story if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would really like to know if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao